Today, we are going to talk about one of the best books ever written about leadership. It is The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. Those of you who are up to date on this type of books will know that we are talking about one of the world's leading authors on leadership issues. And for this reason, I thought it appropriate to show you one of his best works. If we want to do great things in life, we will also have to become great leaders. If we fail to make people trust us, our ability to be at the head of a company, an entity or an organization is drastically reduced. Because the world moves thanks to trust and without it, it will be very difficult for us to make a difference and become people of reference. It is true that for whatever reasons there are people who are born with a kind of gift, which allows them to be people of influence almost naturally. But then, on the other hand, we have the majority of leaders who were not born with that gift, but who were able to develop the key skills to become leaders. So the goal of this video is to show you the keys that are going to allow you to develop the leadership skills that are required to be a great leader. Here's how to build true leadership. In the book, John Maxwell gives us the following principles. 1. The Law of Limits Leadership ability determines the limit of a person's growth. Your growth limit as a person in your job or company is determined by your level of leadership. Greater leadership equals greater effectiveness. To achieve success, it is very important to have dedication, talent and intelligence. But without the ability to lead, all of the former is of little use. For this reason, it is very important that you focus on developing yourself as a leader. 2. The Law of Influence The true measure of your leadership is influence. Good leaders positively influence people. Do not confuse having great knowledge or a good position with being a good leader. The latter also requires hard work and dedication. Colin Powell says, You will have achieved excellence as a leader when people follow you everywhere, even if it is just for curiosity. 3. The Law of Process Leadership is developed day by day, not in one time. The values involved in leadership are several. Respect Experience Emotional Strength Ability to deal with people Discipline Vision Opportunity Etc. And all this is something that must be cultivated with perseverance and regularly. One does not become a leader overnight. There is a process and we must live it. Whoever wants to take shortcuts will fail. 4. The Law of Navigation Anyone can steer a ship, but it takes a leader to set the course. Leadership requires planning and an ability to execute what is planned. The ability to plan well, coupled with a clear vision, transmits security and confidence to the team members. A spectacular ship piloted by a mediocre captain will end up smashed against the rocks. 5. Atten's Law When the true leader speaks, people listen. Sometimes the person who calls the shots in a meeting, or the one with the title, is not the true leader. True leadership depends on the influence you have. The man or woman who is heard or listened to is the true leader. They are characterized by strength of character, people skills and knowledge of their work. They usually have strong intuition and talent. A leader has to be wise, but also has to know what to do with that knowledge. If we know a lot, but do not use all this knowledge, it is absolutely useless. 6. The Law of Firm Ground Trust is the foundation of leadership. This is your most valuable asset. Making mistakes and acknowledging them builds trust. It is also developed by achieving results, always with integrity and in a way that reflects your concern for the good of the team. It is very important for a leader to be respected, and this is achieved through making solid and forceful decisions, admitting mistakes, and finally placing your followers above your personal interests. 7. The Law of Respect Evidently, people follow leaders who are stronger than they are. Great leaders are highly respected by their followers and even by their adversaries. Someone who lacks character cannot be respected and therefore is unlikely to become a leader. 8. The Law of Intuition Intuition is one of the most difficult skills to acquire. It develops over time and through experience. Some people have intuition innately, and this is obviously a great advantage when it comes to improving or developing leadership skills. We could say that intuition is something intangible, something that is related to feelings. The good leader often makes decisions knowing that this is the way to go. And if you ask him, he may not even know why. There is simply something inside him or her that marks that path. 
This is called intuition, and he or she is almost always right. 9. The Law of Magnetism You are what you attract. As a general rule, you will attract people who are like you. If you are a prosperous, successful person who wants to make a difference, you will end up attracting people into your life who meet those same characteristics. But if you are toxic and mediocre, guess who you will end up surrounded by? If you are not attracting the people you want, examine your leadership and find the areas that need improvement in you. 10. The Law of Connection Leaders touch the heart before asking for help to get the message across. We must learn to connect with the person on an emotional level. Our followers or team members are people, not a number. When the leader is able to connect emotionally with his or her team, the entire organization suffers in an extremely positive way. A bond is created based on loyalty and work ethic. It is then that a common goal is fought for and the best results are achieved. 11. The Law of the Inner Circle The people close to the leader determine the leader's potential. As I have commented in other videos, Tell me who you hang out with and I will tell you who you are. And this phrase is perfect to talk about this point. We cannot fill our organization with toxic and negative people. Much of our success as leaders will be thanks to the team we have at our side. If they are mediocre, our results will also be mediocre. Fill your circle with people who add up and contribute positive things. You will not regret it. 12. The Law of Empowerment Only self-confident leaders give power to others. The good leader is the one who is able to delegate tasks without the need to constantly meddle in the work of others. Here, as I mentioned in the previous point, there must be a good synergy between the team members and, above all, they must have enough trust to be able to discuss things without prejudice or a bad atmosphere. It may sound strange, but leaders gain authority by handing it over. 13. The Law of Reproduction It takes one leader to develop another leader. Most leaders have or have had mentors from whom they have learned much of what they know. The humility to learn from others, and especially from those who are better, is also a very powerful characteristic of a good leader. When we are at the head of an organization, it is very important that we understand that the more leaders there are in the company, the more potential we have as a group. 14. The Law of Conviction People are convinced by the leader and then by the vision. When followers are lost, they don't look for the mission or the roadmap, they look for the leader. First, we must develop ourselves as leaders and then, as a consequence, we will get people to join our project. Your success will depend on whether or not you are able to get people where they want to go. 15. The Law of Victory Leaders find ways for the team to win. A leader is a winner. Anything short of winning does not work for them. They always aim for the best and think big. They have a goal and from here they find the means to go for it. They always look for the joint victory, that of the team, because they know that if everyone wins, they themselves will win too. 16. The Law of the Moment of Inertia The moment of inertia is a leader's best friend. A person who is not in motion and doesn't take action will never become a leader. The leader's action spreads to his team and makes everyone start moving towards the established objective. If there is no inertia, even the easiest things can become difficult. On the other hand, when the opposite happens, obstacles and problems seem much smaller and always end up being overcome. With the law of inertia and movement, almost any change can be achieved. 17. The Law of Priorities Leaders understand that activity does not necessarily mean achievement. It is about being productive and not a work sick person. The leader is able to define which activities really get you closer to the goal and make sure to do them first. They apply the law of 80-20 and make sure they invest 80% of their time, money and resources in 20% of the activities, people and disciplines that will get them where they want to be. 18. The Law of Sacrifice a leader must sacrifice to prosper. Sacrifice means giving up something good in the short term to get something better. In the medium or long term, many people want to develop leadership skills, but few are willing to make the effort and sacrifice involved. It is an ongoing process. Regularity and constant intelligent work make a leader great. 19. The Law of Opportunity Seizing opportunities is key. Someone in my family used to say that we must be in the right place at the right time. 
I would add something to that phrase and that is that aside from that, we also have to be prepared to embrace the opportunity. There is a study that assures that each and every one of us, throughout our lives, has at least a $1 million opportunity that passes in front of us. Evidently, the difference is made by those who manage to identify and take advantage of it. 20. The Law of Explosive Growth If we want to multiply the growth of our organization, we must develop leaders and not just followers. If we manage to create a team of leaders, our results can multiply exponentially. And when this happens, we are in the ideal situation, because everything picks up speed. And finally, 21. The Law of Legacy The enduring value of a leader is measured by succession. A person will be judged and remembered according to the leadership he or she is able to transmit to the organization over the years. Personnel determine the organization's potential. Relationships determine morale. Vision determines direction and leadership determines success. Well, here we have just seen a very complete review of this great book by John Maxwell, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, are 21 rules that we must keep in mind and review constantly, because they are the guideline or model to follow. If we really want to become great leaders and have a significant impact on people, to make a difference in whatever we do, we must develop character. Great leaders have personality. They don't wait for things to happen. They anticipate events. They anticipate and take action to go after what they want. When we decide to create our own company, our business, or put ourselves at the head of an entity or an organization, we must take into account everything we have discussed in this video. Because putting the laws of leadership into practice or not doing so can mean the difference between success and failure. With this video you have the opportunity to review them quickly whenever you want. So I hope you find it useful and that you make the most of it. That said, before I finish, I just ask you for a like if you like the video. And of course that you activate the notifications and the little bell, because if not, you will not know when I upload more videos like this one. See you next week. And remember, smart work is the key to success.